Hey guys, I'm Ben. Today I'm gonna to be demoing my home automation system. Home automation systems can be kinda of tricky to demo because if they're done right, they should be pretty subtle. Unless I did it. So my home automation system is based on Home Assistant. Home Assistant is an awesome open source home automation platform that runs on a lot of different devices. I run mine on a Raspberry Pi, but you could run yours on any number of systems. Home Assistant is great because it connects with all the different devices in my apartment, most of which are Wi-Fi, but a couple of them are RF. Besides automating things, Home Assistant has a great user interface that lets me manually control a lot of the devices in my apartment. Lights, 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 more lights, cool lights, unnecessary lights, more unnecessary lights, lights, fans, more fans, my computer, my TV, blinds, more blinds, and more blinds. Besides having devices I can control with Home Assistant, I have a few that pass information into Home Assistant, like cameras and sensor nodes. Having these devices is awesome because it lets me track things in my apartment like light, sound, temperature, humidity, and motion. It's particularly useful for designing automations based on these things, such as alarm systems and motion-activated lights. My phone also passes information into Home Assistant. It shares its battery life, its location, and navigation information. This lets me automate things based on where I am, where I'm going, and what time I'm going to be there. I don't have every switch in my apartment automated. There really isn't any need. Generally, just having a few devices here and there can give you the desired effect. Plus, I live in an apartment, so I can't change any of the wiring. Hashtag apartment life. But the true power of home automation comes from, you guessed it, automations. I have a bunch of different ones that run at different times and do different things. One of my favorite automations is one that turns off the lights when I start playing a TV show or a movie. One of my favorite things about this is you can design scenes that keep some lights on and some lights off, so you're not totally in the dark. And then, when you're done watching the TV show or the movie, the lights come back on. It's pretty handy. Home Assistant also keeps track of who's home or away. It can turn on or turn off devices accordingly. It also arms an alarm system if nobody's here, and because it can send notifications to my phone, it lets us know if anything's going wrong. This is what it does when nobody's home. And this is what it does when we get home. And speaking of alarm systems, this is what our system does if it goes off and nobody's home. As soon as it detects motion, it turns on my lights red and it blinks that one. It also sends me a notification to my phone and lets me know something's wrong. My home automation system also tracks when you're sleeping and can dim the lights and turn off devices accordingly. Warning, no alarm set. If for whatever reason you wake up before sunrise, it'll turn some lights on for you too. One of my favorite features is that my home automation system will turn on the lights for you if you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or get a drink. It turns the lights on red so it protects your night vision, but still lets you see. These lights are on a timer, so as soon as it doesn't detect motion, it'll turn them off. 
My home automation system also turns off my fan and opens the blinds when I wake up. It also closes the blinds and turns on the lights when the sun sets. And when the sun rises in the morning, it'll open the blinds. And no home automation system is complete without a party button. Coming at you straight from my childhood dreams in the year 2000 is this. Pretty lame, right? This is like a $15 button I built that really only has one purpose. It lets me show off my home automation system to my friends when they come over, if I had any. The best part about this button though is that anybody can press it, but you have to have this key to stop it. It has two toggles on it that let me trigger four different scenes, so it's actually more useful than you might think. Party time? Sexy time. Prayer time. And an emergency stop button in case the home automation system goes crazy. So that's basically it. Like most home automation projects, it's always a work in progress. I plan on adding an Amazon Echo and probably a few more sensor nodes in the coming weeks. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there's any videos you'd like me to make. And if you could thumbs up and subscribe, that would be great. Whatever my sign off will be. Cheers. Thumbs up's kind of dorky. I think I just say cheers. Cheers.